you're a special teams guy and that's one of your main roles, but you're also really trying to carve out a niche for yourself on defense to show how valuable you are. Yeah, I mean, um, of course, you know, I like to play linebacker. Uh, I have a joke in the season, like, yeah, I, I kind of don't play linebacker anymore. I'm a specialist. Uh, but, you know, you know, obviously, like, I want to prove that, you know, I kind of belong in the league, not only as, you know, a special teams guy, but as a defensive player, you know, someone that can actually one day, you know, be a starter in this league. Um, so, yeah, honestly, just trying to show that and understanding that I have to display what I could do in preseason in order to make the team as well. So um, just trying to, uh, you know, make the team and really just display to the world that, you know, my abilities and I could be, you know, a player one day. I don't think we've spoken to you really much at all since the trade happened to bring you here. Yeah. What was that like for you? Oh, it was, it was crazy. Uh, a lot of emotions. Um, yeah, you know, I just thought it was kind of over. Uh, it was my first time, but I mean, soon after teams were calling my agent and stuff. So that was, you know, very uh, relieving. But uh, I'd say, you know, it was a lot of emotions um, and a lot of like feeling a sense of like failure and everything like that. Um, but honestly, you know, when I got the call about like the bills and how they wanted this whole situation to go, I was like, huh, you know, that's different, very different. Buffalo's very different, you know. Um, but I was just more so the fact that they wanted me so bad that they didn't want me to go through like the whole uh, wire, waiver wire deal and, um, you know, instead traded for me and, um, you know, and finessed it in a way. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to be here, but it was a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, sense of failure and everything. So, uh, you know, get, getting here and being able to kind of, you know, earn my way back onto the field, uh, it was very rewarding. Uh, I mean, honestly, consistency. So, you know, after I, after the first game, I told myself I was just like, you know, anybody could do it once. You know, once looks good. Uh, but to do it consistently over and over and over again is kind of what, what you need in the NFL. Uh, so to be a consistent playmaker, you have to do it kind of every game you're out there. So that was really all the mindset behind it is, okay, anybody can do it once, do it again. And so going into this Last preseason game is if I'm on defense, if I'm on special teams, it's once again prove to the world and to the team what I can do and, uh, you know, do my, my best to make plays, really. You got that hit on Justin Fields. Derrick Hans definitely was not happy about that on Twitter. How was that a reaction? Yeah, it was funny. Uh, I guess a lot of people took my, like, apology as, like, sorry for hitting him so hard or like it was a legal hit. I don't think it was a legal hit. It was more so sorry, like, please don't flood my mentions and DMs with all of your death threats and I hope you tear your ACLs and crazy stuff like that. So that's really why I said that. Uh, but it was just funny to kind of just be on the internet trolling, you know, giving people uh, a little taste of their own medicine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's really all it was, just fun, just social media fun. I don't take it too seriously. Yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, Coach Washington, you know, he was my DC in um, Carolina, and I know how how strong he likes his D lines to be, like all of the rotation. So not just the first four, but the second four, and even you know the third four. Uh, so, I mean, honestly, just knowing the kind of reputation that Coach Wash has, I'm I'm not really surprised. Um, he's a great defensive line coach. We have great players, um, the one, two, and three um, defensive line. So. I mean, it just makes my job easier. So I really appreciate Coach watching his uh, teachings and you know making sure that we can stay clean and make plays. So, yeah, I, I it's it's very nice to have that uh, here in Buffalo. It makes it very easy in uh, these preseason games for sure. Andrea, Isaiah today tweeted about the fine he got from Malik for not wearing a mask. And, um, there's been a lot of social media discussion about that today. Forget about what side of the issue anybody's on. Is there concern in the locker room that these protocols or the, the Um, well, I honestly didn't know he made that tweet. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, kind of cool, <laughs> kind of funny. But no, so I don't think it would really be that big of a factor. I think, you know, the thing that's most important is we don't want, you know, anyone to obviously lose like $15,000 uh, $15, or, you know, have to miss five games for contact tracing or anything like that. So, I mean, 
I don't think it'll affect us as far as winning games or like really be that big of a distraction because we're such a focused team. You know, we have great leaders, great vets. And so I don't think any of that like little stuff will really throw us off because when it comes down to business, it, we, we show up to work and perform. Um, wow, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, honestly, yeah, like, um, I'm not really sure about all that. I kind of like just stay in the present. Uh, but I see what you're saying, though. Uh, but I didn't know that even suspensions could be given out. Uh, I'm, I mean, all I can say is I just hope that they do the best to just, you know, follow the rules uh, and, you know, not hurt their pockets and not hurt like their chance of playing or anything. But, um, you know, I definitely understand understand and respect their positions uh, as far as like the vaccine and everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's not too much I can say on that. I, 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 I don't think it'll affect us that much. You said Buffalo's different, why? Uh, Buffalo's a secret. You know, we have like the little banner, banner and everything. Like you would never expect Buffalo to kind of, like when I first got up here, it just, it's not the most appealing place, right? And so when you get up here, you're like, wow, this is actually, you know, pretty nice. You know, you like uh, the weather's not all that bad until about, you know, November. Uh, and so like today, you know, it was a nice hot day, kind of like uh, what I'm used to. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's just surprising and like the facilities are nice and just uh, honestly just the team as well. It's like just refreshing to be around these guys. Like they're really like an ego-free locker room, everyone talks to everyone, there's not like, no, I'm bigger than you, you know, anything like that. So I think, you know, along with just the actual location and like the players of Buffalo, I think that's what's really like the secret of Buffalo that why we're so good. Yeah, I mean, it's super important. Um, you know, finishing is a big deal of what we do. Uh, so honestly, just going out and competing to the best and continue to, you know, prove that I I belong in the uh, in on the 53, you know. So just really going out on this third preseason game and finishing, playing well, you know, making sure, do my assignments, going hard on special teams and, you know, just getting to the ball, trying to create plays uh, and, you know, giving the coaches some comfort and trust in me that, you know, if anything happened, you know, especially, I guess, with all this COVID stuff and, you know, guys missing games and obviously the game of football brings injuries, you know, that I could be a, a person that they plug in. Um, and then, you know, they just kind of have complete comfort. So just continuing to prove, like, like if it was a regular season game and I had to play that, okay, um, you know, they respect me, they trust me, and, you know, they, you know, have a great deal of, uh, you know, respect for putting me out there.